Hello, hello! If you would like to join me for a planner cover 2021 update, then stay tuned. So I thought that I would kind of do a planner stash cover update. It's been a number of months and I've definitely sold a bunch of my collection and I really kind of fine tuned what I like, what I'm keeping. Um, I certainly have some things that I've discovered in 2021 about me, about planning, about what I like, and so on and so forth. And I thought I would just kind of have a chit chat with y'all and talk about it and just kind of see like, are y'all on the same page as me? Am I crazy? <laughs> what have you? So this pile is so big, you can't hardly see the whole thing in camera. So I am going to kind of work my way through the pile. And um, let's start off with my on the go cover. So currently, right now, for my on the go cover, I am using an A6 Bomb Kuchen. I am using the Hobo A6 Day Free. So as you can see, I have tabs for all of the monthlies and then basically just will be taking notes, etc. on the free pages. So that is my plan. Um, on the back, I have and I gotta cover it up because there's phone numbers, but I do have one of these little A6 like credit card type things. Then I just have this little um, card stock and I put one of those sticky pen loops on it and I have my pen loop right there. So super simple, the card thing goes here. I'm not gonna put it there because there is a number of cards that have phone numbers, but you can see no back pocket. So it's super sleek, super simple, very small, fits in my bag. It is absolutely perfect for on the go. And it is a square form factor. So this is one of those things that I have learned for 2021 for myself. And that is, I prefer um, anything planner related that is more square. So it has almost equal real estate vertically and horizontally. And I'm just going to turn the, this light up because there we go. The sun's kind of going down. So the Hobonichi Weeks works for me for certain things, but, um, it really doesn't work for planning because it's just, it's too skinny for me. My handwriting is big. So A6 for me is actually much better than the Hobonichi Weeks. Would I absolutely adore if they came out with an A6 that was exactly like the Hobonichi Weeks? Yes. One can dream. I know it's never going to happen, but... I would like that. <laughs> so um, I really do prefer having like the pages like this blank undated so that I'm not feeling like I'm losing pages because I when it's the everyday one for the A6, I just waste them. And I really hate needing to redate stuff. I know hate is a strong word, but I'm telling you, <laughs> I really don't like it. So A6 is my on the go planner. So I'm gonna put that aside. And then this one is actually for business, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep it this year or not for 2022. This one I use for my husband's business. It does have, let me see if I can find a page that is empty. It has the um, Jubin Techo, uh, 
um, planner in it and it is very vertical so you can see the vertical dailies um, in like the whole week on two pages I don't know if I'm gonna use this one again for him because it's a bit of a pain to use a bound book for business stuff and I've really started with my business using rings because it's just easier for me to find the things that I need. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do the same thing for him or if I'm just going to integrate his in the one that I'm using. I'm still on the fence there. So, but this is very similar to the A6 as far as the actual cover. This is the Bomb Kuhen and Superior Labor. And as you can see on the inside, it has um, just one one pocket right there so and then in the back I know I have business cards um, I have sort of one of these like sleevey business card things and then it has this little thing that I literally just put like a little notepad in so that is that. So I have this cover. It's just kind of used as a placeholder for one of my B6s. This is a Galen leather, super cheap cover. So this is probably not one that I'll sell because it's just a good um, overall. I use this one right now. It's housing one of my journals in it. It does have the elasticated pen loop and then it just has these like slits but it's definitely like a folio no back pocket so super simple like I said I just kind of use this as a placeholder for whatever b6 book I need to put something in so there's that then we'll kind of go in order of not using it as much as I need to be using it so that would lead me to this one and so this is I'm just trying to find room here <laughs> this is my Gilio medium Mia Cara and um this is in Lila I absolutely love this cover I just don't use it but I this is one of those that is not easy to sell I mean no, not easy to purchase, not to sell, easy to sell, not easy to purchase. Um, because as you can see, it has the dark contrast stitching on the lighter leather. Oh, I'm such a sucker for contrast stitching, y'all. It is, it's crazy. It's like straight up crazy. Um, so this one I have kind of set up for a, um, Mm, financial planner sort of but I'm just I'm just not using it right now and but I'm not getting rid of it I just I love it and it is like so smooth and so lovely so yeah the Gilio medium Miyakara this stays in my forever stash um then this is another one that I have that I'm not using a ton um but I don't need to use it a ton. This is for my son's homeschool planner. And I think it should be okay to just kind of show the inside. Yeah. So basically I, I just have it um, set up for the stuff that he needs in here for tracking for 2021-2022. I do need to cut this book down a little bit because as you can see, it's a bit of a tight fit. But um, so that is what I'm using for his homeschool planner. And I'm not really, I just, sometimes I'll share homeschool planner stuff a little bit, but I'm just not, I'm not gonna do that right now or anytime soon. <laughs> so um, let's see. So this one is another one that I haven't been using a lot. I'm not using it for a actual planner. I'm using it to write out or copy out the Psalms. And um, 
And I love that. It is it is a good kind of like reflection time when I'm actually doing it and I do enjoy it. I get to use my fountain pens. I think this is Cosmo Air Light Paper, which I do really love seeing the variation on this particular paper. So that is what I have this one for right now currently, but it is my kind of like happy go-to. I'm just trying to see. There's nothing in there. Okay. Um, it is my like happy go-to B6 size, which is basically like the Gilio um, B6, but this is a Vanderspec. And as you can see, it has the undyed leather on the inside and look at that patina just on its own. And I keep it covered, but it just somehow the sun still kisses it when it's put away. <laughs> so, um, very pretty. This is an ostrich X. This is the Iris blue. If you guys are interested, it is an absolutely beautiful, like navy blue. I love it. I, I think it's, I think it's beautiful. Um, but that is all I'm using it for right now. But if I, the thing that's great about having some B6 books is because B6 is really my go-to for like my brain dump book or my at home planner kind of book, this size is good to have a few covers in so I can just kind of change out what, based on what I'm feeling like using. Um, I am still using this one and this is, mm, I'm thinking, yes, this is my oldest cover that I have owned and not sold and it's in my forever stash for a couple of reasons. One, because like you can see the discoloration, I used this girl so much that the front and the back are slightly different colors because the sun kissed it in different ways and I just know I would not get my money back for her. Um, she has acacia t color is sort of like a grayish grit between like a gray and a brown, um, gray and a brown, gray and a beige, um, color on the inside. So I know I wouldn't get my money back for it. And so this one's just staying in my collection. It's burnt pink. This is all, as well as ostrich X which another thing like ostrich x is really hard to get your hands on now because ostrich has become so popular that it's really hard to either you have to like get your whole get a whole entire hide share going just so that you can have the leftovers of the ostrich x or um happen upon something at the right time that comes up on the website so and you have to like stock it. <laughs> so that is a B6. This was the very first one that I made. This was before they made B6 in the codex. So this one was actually a 25 millimeter standard rings that was the rings were left out and I didn't widen it or anything. I kept the basic size. So it does fit a B6 book. It just fits it pretty snug and it doesn't really leave a whole lot of room for side tabs. So, but if you like snug, then that works too. So that is that one. Um, so then we'll go to my Canterbury Bells. So right now I'm just not, I'm in rings a little bit but I'm not in rings a ton. So this one is really like my catch all home planner. So I have my social media stuff in here. I have like passwords, a lot of like overflow stuff, just kind of trying to look at. I have some like health related things. So a lot of just overflow is in here. And so when I don't really know where else to put it, it goes in my Canterbury Bells. And yes, y'all, this is, it's a stunning, I just can't even, this is literally purple wise. This just, 
I love purple. I mean, if y'all know me and you know my channel, you know I absolutely love purple. This is just a purple dream. It kind of comes off very white, off-white, but in real, in real life, it is very, like, super light, lilac, purple, just beautiful. Absolutely love it. So that is my Canterbury Bells, and that is as well in my Forever collection. So I'm going to set that aside. Okay, let's see. Where are we now? So then, speaking of rings, here is one that I am using. I have shown the video for this. This is a pre-loved um, Gilio uh, Amica, Amica, and um, in black, which black is not a color that I usually go to, but when it comes to business, it is very professional and just very um, appropriate and so I think it's perfect. So, and it was pre-loved so I can kind of bang it up and not feel guilty about it. <laughs> so, um, so that is definitely working out for me well. It is housing all things business for my business currently. And I think, as I said, I may integrate, because I really don't have a lot in here, I may integrate my husband's business stuff in here as well, which his doesn't, his requires more tracking of things, whereas mine is definitely planning. I have to plan stuff out to the minute on some days based on how busy I am. So super important to have all the things in that. So there you have it, Giulio Amica. Okay, I totally spaced because this is one that does not sit on my desk. It actually is housed in my bag for church because I use this one as my sermon notes. And so it has pockets, no big back pocket because I don't need it. And literally all those notes are notes from sermons. So, and then it just has the standard pocket in the back, one pen loop, no clasp because I keep it open on my lap like this, nice and flat. It's perfect. Um, actually getting really, I think I'm in the, I'm definitely in the 200s. Yeah, 204. I'm at 204, 205. So I'm getting there because I do mark my pages just to know how much I have left for books. So this is the lavender. This is a buffalo leather. I got these super smooth. And um, I love this one so much. And I love this purple col color so much that I decided that I was a bit upset that I can't use this one because I have this set for my um, for my sermon notes that I can't use it all the time. So Petra is making me another one and it is going to be more, so this is like the standard size because I, I don't really need tabs that much. And um, what I do use, I can use top tabs. And then, um, so this one being like super tight is totally okay, but I prefer this size, which is a larger size, as you can see. And um, in that larger size, um, that's my happy place. So let's just jump to this one. Sorry, my my watch is going off like mad. <laughs> so, um, so yes, this one here is my lavender. This is full quill outside. I believe less quill. Yes, less quill inside. Vander Speck. Lavender is definitely up there on my favorite colors list. I mean, let's face it, I have one, two, three, four, four purple planners, soon to be five. Y'all, I love purple. <laughs> so um, this one is a definite keeper as well. 
and um, this is the larger size just like the iris so I could interchange this one and the iris whenever I felt like it but this year I am using the Annie Plans Tomoe River paper as you can see undated monthly and then the daily is undated as well super good for my lifestyle because I can do bullet journaling and if I'm busy for a week and I don't use it I'm not wasting paper so love 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 that and um, I haven't dated as you can see anything else I only did January because I just don't know I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know how busy I'm gonna get any way that I dice it I always have my backup b6 um i'm just grabbing it again like i use this one for to-do lists and so on and so forth so i always have one of those so basically um if i don't get to my regular planner i can just use something to jot down notes and be fine with it and and live life so this definitely something that i have realized in 2021 a couple things one b6 is my most favorite size of all time <laughs> two having a planner that is more um square type frame is better for my brain i just enjoy it more and three that i really don't need all of the covers and so I have a week's that I'm currently selling. It's my Inno Blue. It's, yes, it's one of my sort of famous um, covers. And it's very, very, very nostalgic for me. And I'm not going to lie. I'm having a hard time selling it. But I'm just not using... I use the weeks for food planning and I keep a cover on cover on it so I can wipe it down with bleach because I take it with me food shopping. I don't need a cover anymore for my weeks and having a cover that costs me an arm and a leg just sitting there collecting dust just to keep it makes no sense to me anymore. And so for 2022, I really plan to be very be more intentional with how I'm curating my planner covers. Um, I'm just not going to be buying tons of them. This was actually the only one that I purchased in 2021. Can you believe it? It's crazy. <laughs> so um, I may get another A6 just because this, um, you know, I'm, I, I, I think I might want to do an A6 codex and have um, something that I can bring a few more things with me versus this. Not a ton, but just a little bit. So I think I'm going to do that and I'm definitely going to get a B6 in this one so that I have a more durable leather that I can kind of haul around with me to have my um, planner this particular cover in. But again, you know, that will give me like three covers that I can, you know, alternate and that's that's more than plenty. So that's kind of where I'm at. I just definitely don't feel like I need all of the covers. And I think honestly, the more I've reflected on it and, and thought about how much I've spent, uh, I get sick thinking about it. <laughs> so that's my goal for, for 2022 is to just really, my plan is I'm gonna sell a bunch of fountain pens. I have a bunch of planners for sale now. I'm gonna sell a ton of washi tape and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna give away a ton of stuff and I'm really gonna just pare down everything I have to a smaller space so that um, I just don't have so much stuff hanging around. So that's my plan. We'll see how well I do with it. I, I just, it is tough when I see all of y'all's absolutely beautiful planners and I'm like, oh, I really want this and oh, I really want that. But I need to stop myself and be like, nope, I don't need that. 
So there you have it. <laughs> but if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below, like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.